all right guys welcome to another episode of everything business in this episode i will be talking about balancing off of double entry accounts now we know right that the double entry system states that one transaction must be recorded twice right and once on the debit side and once on the credit side right now at the end of the period accounting period we can't just leave the accounts the way they are they have to be tallied or they have to be balanced off right and you know that is what we're going to be learning about today okay guys so balancing off double entry accounts so as i was saying earlier double entry accounts must be tallied or balanced off at the end of each month or accounting period this balancing off process helps to keep checks and balances on the double entry accounts and on the bookkeeping process it enables accuracy and validity of accounting information right now there are five steps in balancing off double entry accounts right and the more you practice it the better you will get at it so you don't need to worry yourself if you don't get it on the first go it is all about practice right trial and error and that is how you will get better at it so we're going to look at the first step of balancing off double entry accounts right now so the first step you do is you add up both sides of the double entry account to get their total in this example that we have here we have a bank account right we add up the debit side or the debit side adds up to 511,000 the credit side adds up to 17,000 right that is pretty simple then the second step is to subtract the smaller amount from the larger amount to get what is called the balance carried down or it may be referred to as the balance CD right which is the difference between both sides right so in the previous step the debit side added um, it add up to 511,000 and the credit side add up to 17,000 so we will find the difference between both sides right as you can see there right and the answer is four on four hundred and ninety four thousand dollars that is the balance carried down it means that that is the balance that is left on the account and then we insert the balance carried down right on the side that has the smallest amount at the end of the month right so in this example the side that has the smallest amount would be the credit side and i want to point out that the balance carried down is not always on the credit side right it is always on the side that has the smallest amount just remember that principle so we insert it on the credit side there as you can see in red for the end of the month which is january 31 balance carry down is always entered at the end of the month now that both sides are equal step four now, now that both sides are equal in amount that is right we can now insert the totals um, on each side um, the totals must be in the same line right even if it means that you have to go out of your way to get the totals to be in the same line and now that we have our totals 511,000 and they are in the same line we can now double line um, the totals to signify that we are finished with this account for this month or for this period all right and then we move to the last step right so now that the account is closed for the month um, we will now begin a new period or a new month um, we have to now insert what you call a balance brought down right which is the balance BD it is the balance that was left on the account right the 494,000 it is that balance that will start the account for the following month or for the following period right so please note that balance carried down and balance brought down um, must be the same figures because if you close off that last period with four hundred and ninety four um, thousand dollars in your bank account then you know the next month it's not like um, you won't have that money right it is the same balance that is going to be on the account but we are starting the accounting for the bank account for a new period all right and so the balance brought down must be inserted on the opposite side from the balance carried down below the totals 
if you have a balance carry down you must have a balance brought down and that is very important for you to remember always remember that if you have a balance carry down you must have a balance brought down all right and here are some other examples um you know of accounts how they look when they are balanced off right i want you to notice the, the, the capital account the balance carry down is on the debit side instead of on the credit side um and i also want to draw your attention um to 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 s in account s in account right here right you will realize that this account does not have a balance because the debit side is equal to the credit side right and that is very important for you to identify all right and so that's it as it relates to balancing of double entry accounts please remember to like subscribe and share and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a free tutorial all right thank you for viewing what good Thank <music> you.